What's up guys, um, BooKBV back here with episode number 3, thank you guys so much if you have been following, um, I'm so sorry about that delay, I've been very caught up with Apex Season 4, uh, you'll be seeing a lot more content with that as well coming through, I have a lot of uh, stream footage to go through, but that has is been why some of these progression videos are slowed down, I'm pretty sure I have enough footage for episode 4 as well, we will be throwing that together with the Apex, uh, the Apex content as well as I want to get some League of Legends content, but I feel like that'll be really easy because I'll just throw together uh, like full gameplays and we'll just go over like what happened, what I said, what I talked about during the game, stuff like that. So stay tuned and look out for that stuff in the future. With that all being said, with episode three being here, we have a lot of stuff, dude. I I kind of didn't know what to, what to put all in this and what to leave out because I, I still have a lot of footage. So... With this, we we completed all of our quests uh, for Zora, so I have everything set up and ready to rock out and learn Zora. Um, I say rock out, but I'm probably going to die numerous times. <laughs> uh, the next thing was setting up for Desert Treasure. Um, I got through some of the quests for that. Uh, I did a few other side quests, and then we busted out a ton of Winter Todd. That is something I'm going to be talking about in a few clips coming up. Uh, so with all that being said, we're gonna get right into it and go over what has happened in this past few weeks Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like share subscribe um, If you're new here hit that bell for the notifications for all the new videos And if there's anything you'd like to see on this account um, anything you'd like to see me do or go over Please feel free to comment below. I would love to get into some things Let's get into it <laughs> quick few side notes i don't know if you guys did notice but on the top of the screen obviously you can see a new border a new overlay um i did update stream a little bit in my panels and such with a new package a new like bundle thing all incorporated through the raven uh theme which i've been running with uh for quite a while now so i just thought it all looked a little bit better but if you notice anything different that's what it was um also something I neglected to mention in the first portion, I did start working for my Arceus Favor. Um, I talked about that in my last video. I wanted to recolor my Graceful, so I'll be doing that. I'll probably have the Purple Graceful in the next episode, so just something also to look out for. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> What's up guys, um, just uh, on the path to getting Zora, I just did Underground Pass and we are going to bust out Regicide next. I'm just turning this in with the king. And there you have it, Underground Pass is done and we will be rocking out um, Regicide next. So, cool. Let's get right into it. I'm about to turn this in. Um, we just had the Elven uh, Warrior stop me. And there it is, dude, 13k agility. And we got Zoro coming up, baby. Let's go. What up, E? How you doing? <laughs> Plus, yeah, I am streaming these. Uh, I, I was streaming this up just so I can get my account ready for Zoro, but we are so excited. I'm so excited to be done with Regicide. That took me so fucking long, dude. The fucking barrel and distillery part, dude. I can't believe it, dude. Gross. <laughs> God dang it. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what's up guys um, just one quick thing I wanted to do um, I'm setting up my account for desert treasure uh, so I just did the tourist trap and I believe that is my last one I have a few other things to um, complete which I will show you here shortly um, let me finish this I want it in thieving cool 43 check second skill I want clutching Cool. And there it is. The tourist trap. Uh, just one quick check on what I need for desert treasure. Right uh, here. So we got all the quests done. I just need 53 thieving and 50 fire making. So when I get back, when I get those, we will run it back and we will start desert treasure. Uh, just a quick heads up. I did get. Smite. <laughs> I bumped up to 52 prayer, by the way. What's up, guys? Just real fast. I did do Lost City just now. I just wanted to throw this in there as well. It wasn't on the list, but 
Um, just busted that out real quick. Just a quick heads up, guys. I am starting um, Recipe for Disaster. I do want to get the Dwarven Cake for that. Uh, so I do need to get this quest started. So as you can see, I'm getting this going. Big step for the account as well. Um, so we are about to turn in the fishing contest. Uh, let's just talk it over. Have you won yet? Yes, I have. Trophies right here. Thank you very much. And there's the fishing contest done. What's up, guys? Um, so I'm going to be doing Winter Todd for a very long time here. So I'm just going to throw in a little clip here because uh, eventually I will show the fire making stats. And you guys are going to keep seeing my stats. And it's just going to be randomly bumping my fire making. So, uh... Just keep a heads up on that, and if, if you see any changes like that, or if you see me rocking like the Pyromancy gear every once in a while, um, it is because I'm rocking Winter Todd. I'm super excited, and I really like the minigame. Maybe a Phoenix in the future? Eh? Eh? Wing, wing, nudge, nudge. Alright, just a, a heads up. This is going to be the first inventory. There's another Pyromancy. There's the chest. Nice. And those final bunch of crates. Just some more loot. Not the best loot, but I did get another piece of Pyromancer. That is the chest and the torch. So we're on our way. I can't wait to get that Phoenix. Cool. I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, just show you guys kind of. I'm still going to be bumping that. Um, and you'll probably see a few progressions of Winter Todd as I make my way to 99. What's up, guys? Um, so back with a another Winter Todd clip. Um, I did just go another sixty-five, or it was another twenty. I was at forty-five when I started, I believe, all the way back up here. Uh, that was beforehand. So I logged out beforehand, but I, I think we we're at forty-five. So, um, just real fast, I am gonna be opening up these crates. Um, we got my man Snail. We gotta do it for snail i was gonna hold them until 80 but we'll just bump up uh per rounds as the the winter top you know what i'm saying i do not have the pet currently but we are looking for we're looking for the phoenix we're looking for um the winter top gear the uh the uh, warm gear i'm just gonna start and roll through them We just got materials. I'm starting a tab as well. Our tab's looking not too bad, honestly, for all my winter time stuff. And I'll keep it nice and organized as I go, you know what I mean? What's in the box? I'm just gonna rapid fire one more time. There's the gloves, nice. Okay, we got one more piece. We are so close. We need the legs and we need the helmet. Er, I think there's boots too. I'm not actually positive if there's boots. Boots, legs, helmet, and we got the full pyromancer gear feeling good what's up guys um so i did want to make a video um once i hit level 80 uh 80 fire making i have been saving up my crates let's take a look how many crates i got so we have about uh, uh 40 plus i believe it came out to i'm not exactly the sure the exact number i will i will have it probably up on the screen the exact number of crates but I am gonna get through and start cranking these bad boys all open. I do have a looting tab so far with all my Winter Todd stuff, but I did want to get a grip of crates to bump them all out. Um, I decided 80 was a, a proper number, and obviously I got a good amount of crates, so we'll see what I can get here. So let's just start bumping these open. I'm looking for the. R There's the helmet. Nice. That's a start. We got the. We got the hood. Is a first item right away. Got this guy John. What are you up to? Nice hood looks dope. Got the hood. Another burnt page. There it is. Let's go again. More burnt pages. You got it. You got it. A little more bump of item. Need a new pair of shoes. Nice, more burn pages. Um, just more uh, miscellaneous uh, loot, I should say. Let's check it out. This is my loading tab so far. We have fifty burn pages. Oh my goodness, that just jumped up to five hundred thirty k. If that gives you an idea of how much the loading tab is already looking. 
just one items bumping out the 530 zero. So this is easily over a mil looting tab so far. So um, I'm gonna keep on that. Uh, we now have everything except for the boot, the legs, legs and the boots. <laughs> But looking sick, dude. Love the hood. Still no tome. The tome is purchased. I did not receive that in a box, but if you love to see it, hype about the, the little crate opening. Um, we'll probably do another one at 90, maybe. So that'll be another big bump of crates, and we'll see what we can get. Thank you guys so much. So something I've been doing periodically is uh, training at Omnite Crabs, and then also I've been... Um, turning in those fossils to uh, get some XP lamps. So what I'm going to do real quick is er, turn in some of these fossils, complete my exhibits, and this is how I've been bumping my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? My rune crafting. So I'm gonna turn in some of these fossils and all you do is you walk over, you click on the fossil, you're gonna complete it. It starts building it right in front of you, and there it is. You get one lamp for it. Uh, let's see, let's see. No, I do have two small fossils, and it's actually pretty cool to watch them build in because a lot of these I didn't actually know what they were. Like, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> And the cool thing about this as well, this is my museum. Like this is, I believe only in mine. I'm not positive if this builds in other people. Like other people can see the what's built in my museum. But I think that's also very cool. Uh, I don't know where to put the rare fossils. So let me figure out where to throw the rare fossils real fast. And I will be right back with you. Uh, so I looked it up and the rare fossils are turned into enchanted rare fossil bones and those are used on the hill house for 2500 per XP so I'll probably be saving those and I'll be using all my rare bones at the same time to enchant them all at the same time and then uh, maybe bump my prayer eventually when I am going past smite so thank you guys thank you thank you and I am happy to say I turned in those lamps to solid up and complete the base 40s on my account. That is 41 room crafting. That is all 40s on my account. Obviously, I don't have defense because it is a pure account. Uh, until I get defense, I'm going to go Zerker route for my defense anyway. So I'm going to be doing quests for my defense instead of training it. But that is amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's so nice, dude. Um, I didn't want to train root crafting. I know it's very hard or I know it's not hard But it's very it's a long process and I didn't want to do that So I did do basically all of my rune crafting through questing and XP lamps through almanite crabs So I highly suggest it. Um, I've been training my range over at almanite crabs I did my de or my strength and my attack through almanite crabs as well uh, So that was a huge bump. I did use the the XP lamps on other various skills as well. That wasn't all just rune crafting. So if you did pick one skill and use all XP lamps for that skill, you could probably really, really bump it. So that's just something to think about. If you do have the Almanite Crabs, it is the bon, bon Voyage uh, quest line. If anybody was thinking about um, maybe trying to unlock the, uh, the crabs, I highly suggest it again. Um, but uh, yeah. So that's just just a heads up of something I've been doing to just kind of bump the slower stats that I'm I'm, I'm kind of avoiding training, you know. <laughs> this is like my tiers of Guthix, basically. Uh, so cool. Let's get back to it. Real quick, guys. I did want to put something on record. I did just get my range up to 87, so that bumped me up to a total level of 1250. Um, I that's obviously just a cool looking level and very clean, but um, something that does allow for me to do is use the 1250 total skill world, which is going to be amazing for AFK and Omanite Crabs, for um, any type of skilling thing that, that there's a ton of people at, you know, things like that. <laughs> so I just wanted to 
to note that and uh, just uh, bump that little small accomplishment of 1250. So thank you guys so much. All right, guys, we are here in the Arceus library. Um, I'm about to start helping out some of these uh, mages. Um, we're going to start with Vilia, and we are going to help them find the pages, get my Arceus favorite going, and then we are going to be on our way to uh, coloring my graceful. So let's rock. <laughs> okay, friends, uh, we did just bump up to 100% in the Arceus favor. So I am going to be running the uh, cannabis course here. Uh, we need 90 seals. I just ran a little bit, got a quick five. And we are going to be grinding that out uh, a little bit more so I can update you guys when I get the purple graceful. Big hype. Thank you, thank you. 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103. Ah, oh, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> thank you so much for watching that uh, episode three of making the main series. Um... Obviously, I'm going to get back to grinding here shortly, but I truly appreciate you guys sticking through, watching the whole video. In episode 4, we have a lot more things to cover, a lot more things to go through. I am so excited to get through this account and keep grinding. Be on the lookout for the other content I talked out, I talked about at the, the beginning of the video. If you're new, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, turn on the bells to get notified for the, the next upload, the new content. <laughs> And I hope you guys have a great night or a great day. Thank you guys so much again. Bye. Damn, son, where'd you find this?